What is up guys, welcome back. Today is probably one of my most favorite mods to do to a car, and that is to work on lighting. Now let me show you what we picked up. I bought some very nice lights from Oxbeam. They're nicer than anything that I've ran before. Usually I get super cheap stuff off of eBay so I can test and set lights where I think they should go and we can test them and see how they hold up, see if that's where I'm gonna like the light, move it around. If they're in a location where they get damaged, then I'm only out like 20 bucks. But this time around, I decided to go to that middle tier of lighting and try something a little bit better. Now these aren't you know, $150, $300 pods, but they are more expensive than what we ran before on the Xterras. And I gotta say, I haven't seen them lit up yet, but the build quality is there. I think they're really nice and I would like to get some more and do some lighting down the road when we get some roof racks and some rear camp setup lights and stuff like that. I think I'm gonna stick with Oxbeam and just see how they do in the long run. So to start off with, ditch lights. Now these are gonna go on the corners of the hood for ditch lighting. I got another set to replace the fogs. Now I got super impatient and went ahead and mounted some of this stuff to see what it was gonna look like. So those are already in the bumper there behind you guys. And then this is our command center, our switch pod, whatever you wanna call it, is a six button switch pod. On, off, all on, all off, it lights up. We have all the stickers so we can decide what we want. And the relay for this is mounted under the hood already. And let me show you that. So we went ahead and mounted the command center or the relay switch assembly, wherever you want to call this. This is what we're going to hook our battery power straight to and then we can add our positives and our negatives right to this thing from our lights and we just mounted that right on top of our fuse box so that's just going to sit real nicely right there we'll run leads to our battery and that will go through a grommet and in and we'll find some place to mount our switch panel to here's our fog lights that we got from Oxbeam now these are dual lens. You can take these four screws out, take this plate off, and there's also a clear lens. So if we wanted to run clear fogs, we can, but I chose amber because I really like the look of amber and I think it's more useful in more situations. So we switched those out, got those mounted up on either corner. And then this is not from Oxbeam, but I really love these slim bars and that fit perfectly right there. So we also need to get this wired in. This was like 20 or 30 bucks off of eBay. And it's just a 30 inch, I believe, slim amber bar. Also, we got our ADF Anderson Design Fabrication hood hinge ditch light mounts. So those are super nice and that's where these wide ones are gonna sit but we need to trim down this bolt it doesn't touch the hood but it's too close for comfort so we're just gonna trim this bolt down then we can get these mounted up and then we can start working on our wiring so the switch panel comes with everything you need. Here's our button labels. So when we decide what we want to run, we should have a label for it. Our lead to go from the control box 
to the switch panel that's going to be in our car. Then we have power and ground cables and some other stuff, spare fuses, different types of tie downs for the switch panel to mount inside your car. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get battery, blech, get power from the battery to the control unit and then let's get our switch pod mounted and get that wired in so we can start wiring up our lights. So you can run the <clears throat> on off switch and your cable to your switch panel. You can just go right up here, right where your strut is for your hood. You can get it between the frame rail and your fender right there. So you get your inner fender liner pulled back, which will reveal that bulkhead right there will lead right in underneath your consult so you just punch a hole through there run your wires through that and they'll come out right back in there underneath where you need to plug it in at so now that we have our cables in here we can shorten them up and get things wired up Okay, so now that we got switch pod mounted in place, powers to it, it's turning on and it's working, we need to come over here. We got our spots designated for where we're going to put our lights next. So now we're going to start by getting the bumper back on. So we need to get wires ran for these and the grill. The fog lights came with this giant power harness, which we don't need any of it really, but it would be nice to keep these waterproof connectors. So we can just plug those in right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut those out of the loom, jump them together, and then get those to our power source.
All right, so it's a couple days in the future now. We got all of our lights hooked up. If you guys can see that, they're all in place. They're all wired in. We got, we got our control panel mounted up and in. Everything's wired to the battery. And then we got our little panel here, all wired in, mounted, hooked up. So that, I believe, should do it for the lights that we have so far. So, instead of just turning it on right now and showing you guys what they look like, I think it would only be right if we wait a couple days, take it on a back road in the evening time, fire them up and see what they look like. So with that being said, we'll see you guys a couple days in the future. All right, so there we are. Everything is installed. We have our Oxygen control panel mounted, wired, running. Uh, switch panel is working great. All of our lights are in, as you see, and they look great. That there's just something about that amber on that blue that I'm really falling in love with. It just it looks so good. And I feel like, maybe I've said before, that I feel like amber is more functional or more usable light than just like having white bars. So I feel like there's more cases where you use amber over using a straight like LED light bar. But just look at that, like it just looks so good. It just looks good, so. That's the starting of our lighting situation. Everything's working, so I think that's it. Stay tuned for the next one. We've got a lot more stuff coming up. I think you guys will be really interested on the next uh, two videos gonna come out on the Subaru. So, like always, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.